Hey, would, if I could just quickly get everyone's attention, just do a quick welcome. And then uh, Soren, uh, our DJ is gonna do a moment of silence. Then we're gonna go over to the starting line, which is uh, over if you look in the direction of the tennis courts and the scoreboard where it says start. Uh, that's where Tim, our race course director. Uh, Tim, raise your hand right there. He's probably the fittest person here if he'll kick your butt on the course, so. I'm too old. Hey, so just a quick welcome. Uh, it took a lot to put this event together, and I know there's a lot of places that everyone could probably be on Sunday morning besides uh, besides here. And, uh, and I'll do some thank yous here we, before we kick off the raffle, because I know there's some folks that said, listen, we want to put some more tickets in the boxes, and I totally understand that. So, uh, but just, you know, uh, Welcome. This is going to be a fantastic event. Obviously, uh, Katrina dialed up the perfect weather, so thank you very much, Katrina. Um, well, uh, and there's no floods on the horizon, which is also another, like, heroic wind, so uh, uh, we'll ride to that. And uh, anyways, so thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for, for coming today. Again, I'll, I'll do some explanations here in a second about what the wristbands mean, the T-shirts. Uh, the raffle, we'll thank the sponsors, we'll thank the donors, uh, and so on and so forth. But I uh, just wanted to welcome everyone, and uh, we'll get going. So, Soren, uh, over to you. Hey, everyone. Um, we're just going to ask that everyone joins us for a moment of silence. Um, not only just to remember Peyton, but just to think about everyone we're here for. Um, and if you could just think about what, what all this means to you. And, I don't know. What's a, what, whatever you want to think about right now, I suppose. Thank you, guys. And then, yeah. attention please JK told me that you guys need to put your phones down so is JK here still she like phone hey so uh, I did again I, I know that I already said thank you guys very much for, for coming uh, I'm gonna do some explanations of the t-shirt and then the wristband and then and, uh, and then of course thank our sponsors and our raffle but before I get uh, before I forget uh, thank you to Buckler High School for hosting this event each, each and every year. I, I know you think, well, yep, big round of applause. <laughs> this might go a little bit longer, so get comfortable. Uh, is it, it's it's a huge thing to put on, and and Katrina uh, Phillips is the one that inspired this event uh, four years ago at all. <laughs> at, at a point where at a point where I'll be honest, like Danny and I and Keegan. We were, we were not ready. Uh, we were not ready to move on uh, at all, you know, because, you know, Peyton just passed and, and you're just, it's just very raw. It's very, it's very real. And you just, you don't really have a lot to afford to. And this has given us something to look forward to uh, each and every year. And it's a huge undertaking and we couldn't do it without the school. We could do it without Bettina, Matt McLean, uh, all the volunteers that are, they come from the school uh, that, that make this event uh, what it is. So thank you guys you know, very much for just, I guess, just entertaining Kate Nisha and I each and every year and helping to make it, uh, make it very special. So, great break. Uh, another, 
uh, folks we couldn't do without is the Norwich men's hockey team, and uh, they're led by. Yeah. They're awesome, and uh, and they could argue you be anywhere in Vermont on this Sunday and uh, be doing something which is not this, and they and they chose to be here, and uh, and that just means that uh, that I think not just that they know what great things to do, but their heart is in the right place, and uh, and to spend time with them is is, is special, and uh, it just means a lot, and they're they led by Cam Ellsworth, who's the head hockey coach, and uh, that's OG Cam, and then they have a, an assistant coach who's also Cam. Uh, who is uh, supports the team, and of course, they with Jess is part of their team. She's the uh, she's their trainer, and it's a fantastic group of, uh, of young men and uh, and women uh, who make uh, Norwich University the university that it is. Because without Norwich men's hockey or men's hockey at Norwich, uh, arguably a lot of that pride that you guys sense and see would not be there. So, uh, you guys are awesome, and uh, I can't wait for you guys to bring on the show. So, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I would be very best if I didn't thank uh, the boys Montpelier uh, soccer team each and every year you guys have been here. Whether you guys over got here or whether you guys are here because you guys want to be here. Uh, you guys make it special tonight. So thank you guys very much. And uh, what's on Wednesday? Do we know what's on Wednesday? Wednesday is U32. Big, it, so big, big dust up between uh, Montpelier and U32. And I can see they've already run from the premises, so they must be scared. Uh, they know that they need extra practice. That's why they're not here. And every raffle ticket is a day one. I'll make sure that you guys get uh, get those prize. I'm just kidding. Uh, we have integrity for this event. So uh, also the girls' soccer team is here. Uh, I don't know if those if, that, if those if those gals were still here, but they were helping J.K. with uh, with her daughters. And uh, my goal was to finish in front of the six-year-old, and I did. So I'll be pretty happy. I'll sell J.K. Uh, I need a better inspiration next year. So. Anyways, uh, so before before we get this out, Brock and Jay, did I just say anybody keep it where you got? You good? Okay. So the sponsors, uh, I just I wanted to take a second just to talk to the sponsors uh, because they're they're you know they're sponsors, there's raffle donors, and this wouldn't be the event that it is without without them. And just to give you guys an idea of how this works is when people sponsor and people get raffle donations, all of that money goes towards Alice's Lemonade Stand Foundation. Alice's Lemonade Stand Foundation is a, is a nonprofit, okay? And they work directly with doctors and research folks that are in hospitals, such as UVM, such as MassGen, such as Boston Children's, Jimmy Fund, and whatnot, to make sure that the patients can get the care that they can get. Because unfortunately, and, and this isn't me marginalizing our government, this isn't me marginalizing anything other than the fact that our healthcare system and how it's designed is not designed to support the pediatric cancer patient beyond frontline treatment. So when Peyton re went, into, went in and, and his cancer came back, the only place that we could go was the Jimmy Fund in Boston. The doctor that we worked with, Dr. Dubois, was someone who worked with Alex's Lemonade Stand Foundation. He got specific grants in order to conduct and do the research that, that he needed to do to see if he could cure Peyton's cancer. And that is how he is able to do his job and, and to see if he can actually put patients either into remission or allow the patient to live with cancer their entire life, you know, however long that life may be. Unfortunately for Peyton, it did not work out. However, if we did not do what we did, Dr. Dubois and folks like him throughout the country and throughout the world would not be able to do what they do. It is that simple. Every $10,000 that we do means somebody like Peyton can get the treatment that he can get and be given a chance of life. So we've done nearly $70,000 thus far for these for the three events. And so we're, you know, the goal is obviously every $10,000 increments allows a patient to be able to continue doing, doing and be able to live uh, the life and sometimes it works you know sometimes it doesn't necessarily work our goal is to find that cure and we work with Alex's Lemonade Stand Foundation to make that happen hopefully that makes sense uh, ten thousand dollars arguably is the magic number that Danny and I'm trying to go for so if we raise twenty thousand dollars those are two kids that you guys help uh, give a chance and get broke to so thank you guys very much for thanks all uh, all right, so uh, the thank you to our sponsors. So University of Vermont uh, basketball 
the, they're the folks who granted the, the help grant the wish for Pete when he went to do this make a wish uh, out in, in Oregon at Nike headquarters, and they've been a huge sponsor throughout. Uh, Bagel Fox and Skinner, uh, that's Heidi, that Heidi Grom. Adams Orchard and Farm Market, uh, that's the Adams family from, from Montpelier. Their farm is up in Williston, and Braden is, uh, is here representing that. Uh, NMR, that's the Heidi Trench, Talbot Maple, Maple Farm, that's Chuck Calvert, he's here. Alvin Low Fitness, Farm is by Danielle. She is, she's here with her son James, AKA Big Bobby. Big Bobby. Uh, Al, Alpia is at it, North Star Fireworks, if everyone knows Dee Dee Swenson. Uh, and the Swenson family, they're awesome. Uh, Gail Munson, Three Penny Tap Room, Wayside Diner. I know that I know the, the youngins love to go to Wayside. Uh, Seeker Integrated Solutions, Affordable Chimney. It's a gentleman to my right, uh, Oliver Puig, uh, who's a tremendous uh, mason and just an outstanding human being. Uh, the Jay Landon, Jay Landon Antiques and Art. Uh, Links Renovation, Red and Bakery. There's some awesome bread right there that's gonna be raffled off here in a second. Uh, Husky. Uh, Montclair High School, I already mentioned, Norwich University, Angie Scott, that's their Mountaineers baseball. Uh, it's only some fantastic kit. Uh, Mengi's Bread, Good Measure in, New in Northfield, Julio's Cantina, Montpelier Agway, Hugo's, Ondas, uh, Morse Farm, The Porky Pet, Wicked Vines, that's Mike Noyce, uh, you've heard of two men's hockey coat or, or a soccer coach. Wicker Down Toys, Shaw's, Onion River, Tony Club of Barrier, donated four rounds of golf, and on. Uh, Guy Hansen always uh, donates uh, Apple AirPods, so those you can thank her for that. And uh, Slope Style Ski and Ride, which is down in Barry Montpelier Road, Cheshire Pack Clothing, Underground Co op, Capital Stationers, Aeromed Essentials, Phil Webster's Cafe, SRG Splash, Magpie and Tiger, Lotus Day Spa, Katie's Jewels, Anima Failure, Book Spieler, Get Up Vintage Store, Lachlan Smith, Handmade Jewelry, uh, Delish, uh, Nana. Uh, Vermont Catering and then Northfield Denzel. And if I miss somebody, that, that mistake is mine to own. But uh, those are our, our sponsors and, and raffle uh, donors. So if we can give them a big round of applause. Thank you. Woo! Okay, so if, if you guys have a shirt, uh, if you have a shirt, the shirt this year is designed by uh, Amalgamated Culture Works, which is up in Burlington. It's on the same street where like uh, all the different breweries are, like Zero Gravity, uh, Burlington Beer Works. Uh, kind of just solved the, the, the main part of Burlington. And, uh, and they design, uh, help design the shirt. The shirt uh, has all our sp major sponsors on the back. And then that's a newfangled uh, design on the front, which has the air sneaker. And then has the four, which represents both the Jordan four, the Pagan design, when he went to Megan headquarters as well as the fourth angle. So the shirts are unique, the shirts are special. And so I'll just, one more plug for grabbing one before you guys head out the door up uh, at, out front. And so the bracelets are new this year. Uh, they're designed by, by Carp, uh, our friend who uh, lives, in, lives in Florida. We were in the Air Force together for, uh, for nearly 25 years, and we've known each other for, for almost 30. And so he designed, he designed these. And so uh, first year that we've done those, it's the, it's the military sort of uh, blue that's on Peyton's shoes. Uh, then also that you see on the T-shirt, it says they're Peyton 4, and it's got his sneaker. And it's got the cancer symbol, the Peyton design, which is, a, which is an amalgamation of the Nike symbol plus the PDI for cancer symbol that you see on there. And then it says, of course, the name of the event. And then it says, find, fix, uh, it says, find, fix, target PDI for cancer. And I know this is a little bit geeky as a military guy, but uh, when we prosecute a target in the military, we, uh, we do that targeting process, find, fix, target, engage, and assess. And so we thought it was important that uh, why we do this event and why we support people like Dr. Dubois is we want to find the cancer, you know, you could probably, you know, try to mitigate it in the first place, but find it, fix it, determine exactly where it is, target it, and make it go away, uh, and so that it never comes back again, and so that, that the child can live a, a long and healthy life. Also on the inside is something unique uh, that, that the CARP came up with. It says, be kind and smile. So I don't know if anyone noticed that inside there, but the folks remember Peyton, Peyton was an exceptionally kind individual, and he went through hell and back, and he didn't bitch once. He did not complain at all. He didn't cry, he didn't say, poor pitiful me. He just went on about his business and he tried to be nice to everybody. And then also the pictures that you see around here, in my humble opinion, no one had a better smile. It, it was just a tremendous smile. And even when he was just absolutely feeling like dog crap, whether at the hospital, or whether showing up, you know, after having lost like 80 pounds and wearing two pairs of pants because they were gonna fall off his hips, he would still walk through those doors of Montpelier with a smile on his face. And I think all of us can learn something uh, from that. And so the last thing that I'll, I'll say is we celebrate Peyton today, and I know that it, recently a lot of folks have passed, right? So full celebrities, athletes, 
and all that sort of stuff. You make a big hubbub, a big to do about them having passed, and we say they were, they were just amazing, and they and they just they they touched me, you know, it made, made me just feel so special, and so on and so forth. I would ask that from this event, if, if there's somebody that's special in your life, don't wait until they pass or until they go off and do something to let them know how you feel about them. And it's, it's okay, it's cool to do that. And so whether that's a teacher, whether it's your parent, your brother, your sister, you know, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, your husband, your wife, or, or you know, whatever, brother, sister, let them know how you feel about them before it's, it's kind of too late. And so all the fanfare about the folks after the fact, to me, that's just eyewash. And so uh, I think that, you know, somebody like Peyton let us know how he felt before you know, before he was gone. And I just think that made him a special individual. And that's kind of why, you know, we did this and why we do this event. So anyways, I'll stop talking. We'll do the, uh, we'll do the raffle. But I just wanted to share it was worth it. All right, winning. Danny, did you want to say anything? I can't see you. I have my glasses on. So the only people that I can see is the hockey team for the soccer team in front of me. I put my glass. Dane, we're good. The bed, okay. Hey, Danny, I love you very much. And your birthday was just recently. I won't tell you the number of the birthday, but she just had her birthday a couple of days ago. Uh, you want to sing happy birthday, Danny? You okay? She's okay. Right. And uh, the better bed. Yes. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. To you. All right, let's the wrap it again. I don't know. Exactly. Thank you very much. Have a great Sorry, did Mike? You know, I saw us. Yeah. I saw us. Yeah.